Beats one at Oshaga. This is Matt Wilkinson. This is exciting. Backstage at Oshaga Festival with Alex and Matt. How are you? Great, Great Matthew. Yeah. Nice to see you. Nice to see you as well. It's been a while. Tour looks exciting. A few, covers, a few covers sneaking in to the set. Oh, yeah. White Stripes the other day. Strokes as well. We're in Montreal, which is home to Arcade Fire. Any plans? Home to a lot of big bands. Godspeed. <laughs> I mean, the other ones came about because we had a sound check and a time to practice it, but ah. unprepared for this one, so I'll ah. have to keep it to original material yeah. only. Cobble a reflector together or something. Just do it quickly. It'd be quite easy to do. Acapella. Wake up. Yeah. The lounge version of Wake Up, that might be quite fun. Yeah. A lot of people are very excited by your haircut. Oh, here we go. Was this a big decision? Did you take a long time to decide it or was um, it on the fly? Because it is. Like, I, I had a skinhead once and it was like, it is a big decision, isn't it? Is it? It's just it not is. irreversible, it me. is it, though? It's just like... It's not yeah, like a tattoo. Well, well not quickly. Takes a lot time. of great hats out there. Yeah. There's some guy time. on the Arctic Monkeys Reddit no, don't. Uh, Please don't. page. His name is... What's his name? Tom's. Don't do it, Matthew. Tom's has done it for charity. Because you what, did it. What, he shaved his head? Yeah. All right. okay, Purely right. because you did it. That's which I thought was enough. quite sweet. Yeah. That's not it's usually where that's not that what you thought that was going to be. I think that's quite cool. Solidarity. I'm just going to read out some of the things that... <laughs> some of the reactions. Some of the derogatory comments people have made about your head in the last couple of weeks. Let's talk uh, music. The record has been out three or so months now. And I kind of wonder how aware you guys were of how polarising it was when it initially came out among fans and reviews. Did you keep an eye on that sort of thing? And it was more so in situations like this when they said, when they told us it's that it was. Yeah. yeah, I've never found much use in reading the reviews I don't think either like in either direction if it's good or bad Have you met that don't mean it never gets back to you though does it exactly. always, you, know, you may see a relative a relative will always polarising the <laughs> amount of times I heard that from me now yeah. <laughs> um, if you had a quid but I don't think we necessarily intended to like freak everybody out I kind of think having met you guys a little bit over the years you might have found it quite fun a little bit to play with people's perceptions perhaps what I would say is, if that is the case, it's sort of inherent in us making music together mm. to the point where we wouldn't notice that we were. When you're to in do it, it, really, I think we. Yeah. I think it's always been a bit like that. Every album we've done, really, and were it not, perhaps that would be the. I don't think this change is any bigger than the jump from when Humbug came about. It feels like yeah. a natural. Yeah. Progression. Exactly. And I'm, yeah. I think also, like, if you put. In between, like the AM and this one, I worked on the Puppets record and this the record did with Savior. Alexandra Savior, yeah. Yeah, 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 and which were definitely nods in this like, like, direction. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I have a few quick fire questions about the record, which I love, by the way. I mean, there's a lot to dive into Thank about you. that album. Um, in Monster Truck, Lizzie is that Lana Del Rey? No, really, because that is her real name. I know. I'm realising that. <laughs> So that one's not true. No, the objective correlative, Matthew. What's that mean, correlative? You can just have a little flick around <laughs> later. You should there. put it in a song and explain what it is. So I don't have to do that. Um, the card, the show. the cardboard tranquility base that you made. Mm. Where is that now? Is it still intact, or is it been still intact? A bit droopier than it appears on the screen. <laughs> is it just in your house somewhere? There is, however, there was a second <laughs> version of it that was made really by someone else based on a drawing that I did. You made the one that's on the cover, right? Yeah. But then they did a, we did a drawing. It, it wasn't shippable and we were shooting that four shippable. out of five video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't travel well. And we wanted it. Yeah, it wouldn't, it wouldn't have made it. It didn't, it didn't make it up to Castle Howard. It didn't, no. no. But there was a replica and a, a much sturdier sort of version of it where the, there was a, a little bit more measurement involved. I kind of think... That is what appears in the video, yeah. <laughs> We had Kevin Parker in the other day on the show, and um, one of the things I floated with him, he's, he's done so many collaborations this year, primarily with hip-hop artists. I'd love to float with Kevin. Float with Kevin. <laughs> it was a dreamy, psyche float that we had. One of the things I put to him was whether he would ever do anything with you. Um, he lives in LA now, and he, he was really into it. And the reason he said he was into it is because he hasn't worked with anybody in a band before. It's normally producers or hip-hop people. And I wondered what you thought that would actually sound like if you and him got together and did what something. What could Kevin do for us? Yeah. What could Kevin I Parker wonder. do for Arctic Monkeys? An interesting question. Let's float, Kev. Is that an, an ask for Kev? 
I'd, I'd, yeah, I just said it twice. I'd float with Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> one of the things, I know you said you don't read reviews, but one of the things that kind of irked me a little bit about the record was people were coming out and saying, oh, Hell just isn't on it as much. And I think that's because normally you're in kind of John Bonham mode. I was on my honeymoon. Were you literally? No, I wasn't. I was there. I was it's present. subtle here. This is a very heavy U record. You know, the drums are insanely interesting. The percussion is really interesting. It's very deep. You can see that in the live shows. Yeah. I imagine that's, you know, something that maybe you as a drummer would want to get across to people that actually did enjoy making this record and it were very much a part yeah, of it. Yeah, I think um, me as a... I've never been interested in impressing other drummers. It's something I've always thought. So, like... I used to think like I've got to do this thing that no one's done before, like make a beat up that no one's ever done before. But then I think the harder thing about drumming is what we just did do and agree deciding not to do something at all. Not just drumming for either. the better of the song. And I've got them vocals, you know. What happens next year because you have these gigs um, in the UK, big shows in September at the end of the year. I think it's like four sh arena shows in every city you're playing or something yeah can we expect festivals and big summer gigs in the uk next year do you think we haven't really thought that far ahead yet i don't think and the plan was just to go until about october because we do a bit more america after that but we haven't really decided beyond that yet do you think another record will come quickly possibly you know again i don't know if we've not quite reached a conclusion on what we're going to do but I would like to, yeah, I think maybe for just the reason that I've really been enjoying um, playing this one on the road and, um, you know, that I think that excitement of playing together could lead to, like, yeah, jumping back in the studio. Whereas, obviously, when we made this Tranquility Bass one, that wasn't coming like off the back yeah, of the yeah, tour yeah, and, yeah, like, yeah. probably got something to do with why well, it's the last day, tour but... was so long as well, I guess because you were having so much fun on the road and the pull to go, to leave that and go back into the studio wasn't there. No. I remember we nearly did after 8am. There was a moment when we were like, let's just go and do a, like, another thing that's a bit like this and keep going. But... I think it's dodgy when you do that, isn't it? Mm, that's why Oasis did after Morning Glory. Like, Noel now says if we didn't... If we'd have taken a year off after oh, right, that, yeah. Beer Now would have been a completely different yeah. record. Which is maybe a similar thing because AM kind of took you to stratospheres unknown, mm. didn't it? No, I'm glad we didn't now. Like, but there was definitely a, there's an urge there to to do that. Have you written anything new? Not really, no. But I've sort of begun to think about it. There was a quote last time in the press you were doing for this where you said, "I went for a rough patch, trying to start this record, and I couldn't really write anything." And that's where like your granddad said something to you, and yeah, said, yeah, and gave you that line. American sports, but American yeah, yeah, sports. yeah, yeah. Is it back now? The, the songwriting. The, the, oh, the the frothing other now. <laughs> I did. I've, I think you know some of the. I sort of started off writing this record about that in a, in a way. Yeah. You know, like a, this band that we've got going now as well with Tom Rowley playing, who, who he joined us on the in the studio on this album on guitar, and Tyler Parkford from Mini Mansions, who like a, mm. been a friend of ours for a while and played with us in the puppets on keys, like. I don't know, we, 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 we're more, there's sort of a versatility that comes with that. So if you were to go back in the studio one month after those last gigs that are penciled just in, would it just be the four of you or would it be everybody? I don't know, Matthew, really. I mean, hopefully Kevin would be floating in there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> that would be fun. I mean, Kevin Parker, Arctic Monkeys thing would work, weirdly. Well, I mean, I think he's brilliant, no doubt about that. Here's the thing, I think I asked you this the last time I saw you, which was around AM, and... Um, to me, logically, the next step in terms of gigs, UK gigs, would be something like a Wembley, which you've never done before, but stadium is still used for gigs. Is that something that you could see yourselves doing? I think the, the demand is still there. Do you know what I mean? You, I think you could do it. If you put that on sale tomorrow, it would be a thing. To, oh, yeah, is to do something a stadium. you'd want to do? I don't know. We did, I mean, we did, like, the cricket ground thing that all those years ago. Yeah. That was, like... And that was a That thing, was right? nice, like, special occasion kind of thing. And Finsbury Park, obviously. So do, like, we've done a few of them... It seems quite daunting, though, doing, like, a stadium. Does it really? Even after all these years of, of headlining Glastonbury and stuff? Yeah. <laughs> Do you get nervous <laughs> before shows like this? No. I have to be honest about that. That's quite an insane thing, isn't it? To just yeah, I mean, if I think about that, people. that's weirder than... Yeah. Well, look, it's always good to catch up with you guys. Thank you very much for stopping by. Thanks Thank for having us, Matthew. Yeah. Likewise. <laughs>